Okay, so here I am on ringcentral.com. What we're gonna do, we've got the different pricing. Um, I have a small business, I'm not an enterprise business. So I'm gonna go here, see pricing. A couple of things to point out here. If you're just a single user, you're gonna adjust this down to one. And then I like to do things monthly to start. Uh, so you've got either the essentials here, but you get a thousand minutes here. That's, you know, and you look at the hours that you're gonna have in that. So if you had a thousand minutes divided by 60, that's gonna give you 16 hours of talk time. That's probably enough. Although they do for just $5 more, they let you go to unlimited, which is probably worth it. So you don't have to think. I like the buffet, you know, kind of the all you can eat. And then you also can take your video conferencing up to 100 people. That four person limit might hold you back. It looks like you can call in at any time or chat with them. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do a free trial. And so what you're going to do here, you're going to select your number. Now you have a couple ways to go here. You can either do a local number or a toll free number. It really depends on your business, which way you're going to want to go. Um, one thing to note here is that like I'm in Austin. So if I put in 512 that, uh, you have to try every single one. And I did try these. Wow. Now there's that 512 number. So maybe new ones get assigned during the week. But I tried these. Uh, let's try Austin and see what happens. I tried these a couple days ago and there was nothing available. So I would definitely suggest maybe trying on the weekend if you're not seeing any in your area. So let's pick a good, let's pick some good numbers here. I like numbers that have like repeaters in them. Uh, 2313. Okay, the way I do this is I'll often say, all right, how would this sound on someone's voicemail if I left a message, right? So if I was leaving a message, I'd say, call me at 512-277-2313. All right. I like the way that sounds. 512-793-7331. That sounds okay. Uh, 4820. Right. That sounds good. So I look at the way that those sound. Let's go ahead and pick one here. I like this here. 277. Oftentimes, I'll try and get ones that have the same numbers in my area code as well. So let's just look at a couple more and see if there's any other like this. 512-686-1827. Now I like that because it's got two ringers to it, right? 18 and 27. It's not 1827. It doesn't have to be, at least. Um, so just ways to think of it. Now toll-free numbers, they do have a one-time $30, $30 fee for 800, but 888 is real popular. Uh, let's see if we got one here that's nice. So let's say 530-8520. I'm going to go back to the locals. Go 512 again. And let's say Briggs this time and see if we can find anything. 677-6616. That's pretty nice. Let's try one more and then we're just going to pick one. You could obviously do this all day until you find something that is exactly what you want. 793-7331. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Okay, I said I was going to only do one more, but I'm going to do just one more. Let's try Granger. Oh, there we go. 377-1133. That's got two repeaters in there. Three repeaters. That's really nice. Okay, so let's go with that one. And then if you want, I'm not going to select this, but you can port your own number in. If I select this, I probably lose this number. Okay, so I just want to have one user. It's me. Um, nobody requires a phone. We're going to be doing it from our system here. And let's go ahead and set it up. Okay. So this is kind of my catch all email that I use for a lot of services and whatnot. Uh, mobile phone. I'm not going to give them that number. I don't want people calling me and what better term is it than harassing me to buy their service. I have a number that I use that's a magic jack number that I send people to uh, that goes directly to voicemail. And I'm not going to include a company name. I don't, oh, they're requiring it, which I find kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and give them a company name. Let's just call it Matt Gerchow. 
enterprises. I have a few companies, but I am going to not use one of those for this purpose. And then I will go ahead and use my address. It's my business address. It went ahead and filled it in. I'm hesitant to give them my suite number because they're probably going to mail me stuff. But um, these are just all things about signing up and not getting scammed, right? So I'm going to go to my next here. I'm going to get it going. Now, here's where it gets interesting, okay? I have privacy.com set up on here, which I talked to you about earlier. So now I just go and now I'm going to call this Ring Central. It probably will pull up. It didn't, okay. Um, I'm going to put a phone number, a limit on this right now of just $2. Sometimes people say $1. I put $2 because sometimes they check for $2. But what I'm doing here is I'm setting this up so that I can try it. Okay. Total charges today. They say that. Is it really going to be that? Well, this card will tell me that. Right. So today's total is still telling me zero. Right. Sometimes people say free trial and they're like, oh, yeah, it's free trial so long as uh, you cancel within the first month. Uh, you can give your money back. Well, sorry, that's not a free trial. All right. So now I've set the whole thing up. You see, I've put this in here. These privacy cards will actually work with any name if you want to change that over. Sometimes uh, kind of my alias is Mark Johnson. But I'm going to go ahead for the sake of this video and use my real last name because people sometimes in the comments love to attack that and start using my phone system. I'm using one password to save my passwords. And so I will call this Ring Central Office. And I'll go ahead and save the login. Okay. Uh, now they are wanting to call. Okay. See a phone call, provide your verification code. Okay. So they are going to make me use my real phone number here. Okay. So I used one of my virtual numbers. They didn't like it. I am mean, going to have to probably block this out at some point here. So they're calling me now uh, and they want to, here it goes, it's ringing. Hello. Okay, so I hung up. I'm not sure why they had that first thing in there. They're going to send me an email here to activate my account. So you can see that it did work with the $2 limitation. You know, this is how to get a virtual number without getting scammed. All right. And so I'm going to go in and jump over here to email. There's their email. Now I'm activated. And we are into Express Setup. Okay, so they're asking me for a password and a PIN. Those are pretty simple things to do. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Well, not that simple, it looks like. They've got quite a bit here. So I have my kind of my go to way of getting past all of these. Okay. Now I'm going to create a pin here. All right. I, hope, I don't know if, oh, so you've got the little eyeball here to where you can see it or not see it. Okay. They're not liking my standard pins. No repeaters, no sequentials. So. I hate it when they do all this because obviously we have our, you know, our pins that we use for our cards. We have pins for other things, but let's go ahead and there we go. Okay. So there's the pin I put four, two, five, one, six, five. I had to do that because otherwise I'm not going to remember it and then I'm just going to paste it over. Now, what I will do is I'll update my one password with this once I get done. 
Um, so what school for sixth grade? This isn't it. This is where I went for fifth grade, but that's what I'm going to use. And we'll go ahead and continue. And now see what happens here is I'll update the existing password. So I'll have all this information in there should I need it again. Okay, so now we're setting up company info. Company greeting. For calling my company name. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For the operator, press zero. For the dial by name directory, press nine. So I like that it's not really a computer voice there. I'm going to go ahead and skip that right now. Looks like I'm going to be there. I'm just skipping through some of this here, showing you some of the features. I like this vertical setup here. These should actually close. Okay, United States, I am on Central Time. Okay, emergency calling. I really don't want to give them that. I mean, the whole point of having a virtual number is to be a little bit indiscreet. I am going to go ahead and put this in as my work address. Um, you know, it just seems a little invasive that I'm trying to get a virtual number and they're asking me for all of this, you know, pertinent info to my location. I don't know how that all fits with the Homeland Security Act and whatnot, but I'm going to put my office address. Okay, so I'm going to agree and continue. Primary phone, ring only my primary phone. There we go. Now let's say that we wanted to record over the phone. I don't really want to do that. I want to record, uh, call me at. So they should really have the way for you to record it here on their thing. That doesn't, doesn't really make sense that you can't do it. I have other virtual phone numbers and you can do it on their system. That seems uh, pretty archaic that they're going to make you record it inside of another system and then bring it into their service. Okay. Go ahead and skip that. Company settings. There's my number. Company greeting. Thank you for calling Matt Gerchow Enterprises. Okay. Fine. And then it's here. The operator goes back to me. Pretty cool the way they have it all set up here. Go ahead and we can listen to this a little. Been forwarded to the voicemail. No one is available to take your call. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press the pound key for more options. So it seems like it says Matt Gertz out here. It, it probably will if we set it up more. Um, but let's not worry about that right now. And that's it for this video. I hope that helps. And I hope that you're able to, uh, you know, try out different services without uh, running into the problem of not being able to cancel. That's what we need in this time of need right now. So I thank you for listening to this. Please make sure to subscribe. I'm going to try to make more helpful videos on the ways that I'm able to kind of tweak and hack my business to stay ahead. And that's really what we're trying to do, right? We're all trying to come up. All right. Thanks so much.